So South Florida Digital Alliance is a nonprofit. Our mission is to bridge the digital divide throughout the community. We work with schools and nonprofits and other organizations to get computers and technology out to those without, helping to connect them to important resources that they need to succeed and enhance their quality of life. I have a great interest with computers. I had my own IT consulting business uh, where I focused on small business and nonprofits. So I was already working within that space. Uh, I've been doing computers since I was a kid, uh, just always fascinated with technology. So it's one of my passions. And the other passion in my life is to give back to the community. I, I, it's of great importance to serve and to pay back the community what's given to me I'm very thankful for all the opportunities that I've had. And so when I was asked to be on the board of the South Florida Digital Alliance, I, I jumped. There was uh, no hesitation in being able to bring these two passions in my life together. One of the great opportunities we've had is partnering with different organizations. And one of these communities is young adults with autism. And we partnered with the Dan Marino Foundation and the Marino Campus School and we invited these young adults into our office to give them a real life professional experience that they could not get otherwise as they strive to become, you know, just your normal working adult and overcome their challenges. And to see their faces light up uh, every day when they came in, things that we took for granted, simple task of cleaning computers and putting them together, they jumped at it. They loved it. They are, smiles on their faces and when at the end of the program when we gave them certificates for completing their work i mean it was tears of joy as they had succeeded and were setting off on the right foot to start a new life for themselves it is over 60 percent and i'm just rough numbers over 60 percent of our community does not have the same access in their house or with computers and technology that many of us take for granted. We hear stories of kids having to go to McDonald's at night to use their parents' cell phone to do homework because that's what's required at Miami-Dade Public Schools in most schools to have computers uh, to engage electronically with the teachers and their assignments. Uh, we have parents asked to go pay bills and you know the idea of having to get on a bus or catch a ride all the way across town just to pay your water bill you know, these are quality of life issues. We are trying to get them connected. You know, our part mostly is with the computers that you see behind me to get the computers out to the home, but we partner with uh, partners like Comcast and Atlantic Broadband and others to get them hooked up to the internet so that they can, from their home, safely engage with the community, stay connected with their families and friends, and just get, you know, take advantage of work opportunities and study opportunities. So the South Florida Digital Alliance uh, really um, succeeds and thrives on donations from some of our larger partners throughout this community, from banks, hospitals, law firms, and universities. Uh, we get donations of 80 to 100 computers any computers we're welcome to, but we get large donations of computers from these offices. We refurbish them and we put them back out to help the community. As a benefit to those organizations, we save them money. It's an unseen tax, if you will, to deal with data management and security and privacy. And part of our uh, operations is that we securely erase all the information on the computers uh, so that those who donate them uh, not only feel good about what they're doing to help the community, but as a service to them, their data has been protected and uh, destroyed properly.